Well, we told you about this story earlier this week. Two teenagers in Washington D uh, state decided to really make an entrance at the prom. The pair rode in a World War II era tank and they used that to pick up their dates and go to the big dance. Sherman Bynum and Sam Tetro join us live to tell us uh, how they were able to make all this happen. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Were your dates uh, impressed? Um, I'd say that my date was a little shocked, to say the least. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for well, sure. Whose idea was it, Sherman or Sam? Um, it was originally my idea, and then I came to Sam, and he was really like, he was the one that was there, I guess, the only one there that was like, heck yeah, man, let's make this happen. <laughs> It's, it's hard to believe that this is allowed. So you went initially to try and rent one. It was like $20,000. But was this just a, someone you found through a museum that let you do this for $1,000? Tell people how it yeah. went. Yeah. So it was kind of a little bit of an underground thing. Um, obviously, we didn't want to encourage this kind of thing in other people, especially because it's not as much of an entrance as it is a stunt. Um, I've had multiple people reach out to me and I've had to tell them, well, I can't actually give you this information firsthand because it is a little dangerous, but I can you know you can find on your own um but yeah it's you know we contacted all the local authorities made sure everything was legal um from those standpoints but it's not as conventional and honestly i did have some concerned teachers and staff involved in this but we had to kind of uh, talk them down make sure everything was okay so sam did you guys double date in this tank do all four of you fit in the tank how does it work do you park it outside the 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 prom event uh, yeah, so uh, at the start, we dropped it off uh, a bit away from the event, and uh, it was just me and Sherman who rode in the tank. We rode uh, in the top of the tank, and we did uh, some laps around the around the museum and eventually got dropped off at the entrance. There's a lot of kids there lined up taking pictures and having their phones out with videos. So did your dates get to ride in the tank? No, they didn't. Oh, well, that's, well, gee whiz. I wonder if they were happy about that or sad. Yeah, are they still talking to you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sherman, what'd they say? I mean, are they, she's like, what the heck? So, um, my date personally didn't want to. She didn't want to ruin her dress. Yes. Yes. That's um, a tough crawl. Which, that's a tough exactly. crawl. Exactly. You know, that was something that I noticed a lot, actually, when I went to see the tank in person for the first time and actually got in it, I ended up bruised from moving through it. Like, it's not designed for comfort whatsoever. No. Yeah. So she decided that, you know, maybe, maybe not so much. I'll just be on the side. And they were both very happy with that. So, so Sam and Sherman, you, you've done an amazing job with this. A lot of creativity. You got things done. You jumped through the hoops. What do you guys want to do for a living? You've paved the way for something great. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and start. Um, I think this is honestly not related at all, but I want to do something related to mountains and mountaineering. Um, I really love nature. I really love the outdoors and my life's goal is to climb Mount Everest. Oh. Um, I actually have a trip planned to, um, a place in Alaska up in the Aleutians for next summer, um, backpacking, that kind of thing. So I really, I really want to pursue the outdoors. So maybe like as a mountain guide or something like oh. that. How Sam? about you, Sam? Uh, and for me, also completely unrelated to the tank, I want to get into music. Uh, I've always been a big music guy, and I and it's definitely my passion. And if I can ma eventually make a living out of that, I think that would be my dream. Hey, that picture uh, in the tank would be a great album cover, right? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Just yeah. a suggestion. And I'm just saying, unfortunately, you've set the bar pretty high for a lot of these promposals yeah. and stuff. So now I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there going, thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Great stuff. Thank you guys so much for having us on. Thank yeah. you. You can follow Sherman and Sam on social media. I guess for the promposal, they said, I'd be thankful if you went to prom with me. See, clever. Yeah. Well done, guys. There you go.